95% of the NBA media is pro clutch sports LeBron affiliated. Don't worry, it's going to come out because people are starting to listen. And so people are going to be able to uh, research what I'm saying, look up all these media pundits, see who they work for and who they're actually managed by. And you'll see what I'm saying. What I'm saying is not a lie. These guys argue with people all the time because they want to push a narrative that I just think is ridiculous. This game is more than just about stats. There's a lot of guys that can stack stuff. There's a lot of guys that can stat stuff. But I can kind of get why. I can kind of get why um, Shannon Sharp was so upset now. Now that I done took a closer look at old Shannon boy. Oh, Shannon boy. Now I done been taking a closer look at you, boy. And old Shannon boy, you got a lot about you that ain't right. Shannon boy. And I know there's a dude out there say he don't like that. I say, boy, uh, you have to take that up with the Constitution. And uh, running up on me would be illegal. And pulling out a stick on me would be illegal. So I would advise against that. But Shanna boy. Boy, it's something off about you. I knew it. I knew it. But look how you close your eyes while you looking at LeBron. And I know you done been around LeBron before, but what the hell you got your eye closed and your lip puckered up like you waiting on a kiss? LeBron uh, has a Giannis type of game before Giannis improved his game, which was one dimensional. Yeah. Oh, Shanna boy. So you mean to tell me we catch you looking at LeBron like you want to kiss him. Now there's a height difference between you and LeBron. So I don't know how y'all close the gap like that to where you got your face damn near right by his face. I don't know how you got it that close. I don't know. Salute to the new member. I don't know how you got it that close. I don't. Because LeBron is about 6'10", and Shannon Sharp got to be about 6'2", 6'3". Or maybe he's 6'4". But there's still a difference in the height. But it looked like they right there, neck and neck. I'm talking about it. Some people can't handle the truth. Speak it anyway. Absolutely. It look it. Laugh out loud. He has a shine of L. He, he has a shine of LG, LBJ accolades in his home. He has a shrine. Oh my God. Jaquim Noah said the same thing about LeBron in 2011. They say that Jaquim is just a sinner. Wow. He just a sinner. Anybody that knows basketball say something about LeBron, they invalidate. So, Shannon Sharp, I don't know how tall you are, brother, but I noticed you closed the gap between LeBron and you. And then I see you wore the man whole goddamn Laker outfit, which I never seen the shorts with the Lakers across the crotch area. Um, and then what really further uh let me know that you are absolutely psycho over LeBron is the fact that you tweeted out, be honest, is this too much? Okay. I'm going to say hell to the yes, Shannon Sharp. Hell to the yes. That's a bit much. You, lay, you letting this man lay on top of you at night? Wait a minute. You mean to tell me you putting your big ass face on LeBron lips when you land down, that looked like a hotel room, too. So that means you got a to-go bag full of LeBron. This nigga got a travel kit, LeBron travel kit, for his blanket and his pillow. If this is a hotel room, that's a travel kit. So you mean to tell me, when you going down to sleep at night, are you sleeping on top of LeBron, or is he sleeping on top of you? Because I'm, I'm just asking, are you getting up under them covers so LeBron can be on top of you? Or are you sleeping on top of the covers so you could be on top of LeBron? And are you putting his pillow, his face down, or are you laying cheek to cheek with him? We just want to know. 
because this shit is wild, nigga. You supposed to be a Hall of Famer. I ain't never like a nigga this much to be laying up under this nigga or on top of this nigga. You ain't bringing no women in your room with another nigga in your bed. That's a threesome, Shannon Sharp. Anytime you bring a woman in your house and they see LeBron big ass head sitting right there smiling up at her, like if, if you hitting her from the back and the pillow up looking at you, how do you stay hard with LeBron smiling at you like this here, Nick? Like you, you really cheek to cheek with LeBron every night. Like what the fuck? Is this a bit much? What the hell are you, Shannon Shaw? Shannon Shaw, what the hell is wrong with you? You don't went to one of them guys. I see that now. You don't been at one of them parties. I see why you want to fight everybody about LeBron. You ain't fighting for your fanship. I believe you think you fighting for your man. Savannah, Savannah, I don't know you now, Savannah. Now, I got to call you a, a Miss Savannah. Uh, I think you got to go to the gym and start working out. Because you got a big old bitch to fight now, Savannah. Uh-uh. You can't let this nigga get your man, Savannah. This nigga, she, he'll take your man. <laughs> Shannon Sharp will take your man. Hey, look here. They say you wrote an article about Kim Kardashian, but you better write another article about this motherfucker right here. This motherfucker finna take your man. This is too much. I mean, it's too damn much. It's too damn much. Now, I done told you already, Shannon Sharp, this man has a wife. I don't think Savannah honor this man as much as you. Well, I ain't gonna say that because I don't know her. But I damn sure know she ain't sleeping up under no goddamn Ron Jane covers. You trying you trying to have this man at her house and your house at the same time. <laughs> Skip got the Tom Brady bed set. Dracula mouth. KB called the media fanboys and Shannon got mad. I told you, he's a fanboy. If this don't prove that he a fanboy, I don't know what it is. This nigga is a fanboy. I'm for real. Look at this nigga, man. Look at this nigga. This is crazy, man. A uh, fucking all-star, the uh, Hall of Famer, is sleeping up under another goddamn man. LeBron and Clutch Sports literally hijacked the NBA and the media. I don't know that to be true. I'm just reading that. I want people with great research skills to go look up how many of these media pundits are tied to Clutch Sports. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. That's why he spit so much venom at me, and I just knew. I'm like, oh, man, you're going to expose yourself, boy, talking like this. I called you a fanboy, but I didn't know how far your fanboy went this deep. Ain't no way I'm sleeping up under another nigga covers. I might got to buy a nigga pair of shoes, buy, buy the shoes of a person I like. Like, I'll I buy some Allen Iversons, I'll buy some MJs, I'll buy some shoes. But God, the nigga, you buying, you, how old are you? A bunch of uh, grown ass kids. I bet this big nigga eat granimal cookies still. Big old child. They say you slept in the bed with your grandma for a long time. You 15, 16. You like a big old baby, ain't you? I bet this nigga suck his goddamn tongue. That's why he talk like that when he can't get his tongue out the way. This is a motherfucking thumb sucker. Them new teeth in his mouth that they push back. He is a thumb sucker. Hey, now, Skip. Now, Skip. Let me tell you something now, Skip. Hold on, Skip. Skip. Now, when I, I got him, Skip. Hold on, Skip. He was a thumb sucker. I know, you're a th I know a thumb sucker when I see one. I was in class with thumb suckers. This motherfucker, a thumb sucker. <laughs> you should have never said my name, boy. This is the reason why the rest of them niggas ain't say my name for a whole year or two. You should have, you should have took heed from them. But no, saying your little boy toy, the nigga you lay up under every night, then got you in your guy. Your little boy toy, you lay up under, then got you in. Your, well, I don't know if that's your boy toy because LeBron may not feel the same way. But given that he let you get this close to his mouth. I don't know. I don't know. You let this nigga get close to your mouth like this here, LeBron. What the fuck wrong with you? 
No wonder you ain't got no mid-range game. Nigga, you taking it all away. Yeah, you taking it all the mother way. No wonder your mid-range got <laughs> ain't shit. Allegedly, you driving to the mother Yeah, you driving all the way to the hole, nigga. Shit, no wonder this nigga was getting up about to beat up the whole squad about you. That nigga was that nigga was fighting about you, man. Fuck shit. Man, I ain't never seen a nigga about to go. I had this is the first time in NBA history that we seen an NBA analyst about to get up and fight about a player. That nigga, this nigga Shannon Sharp made history, bro. This the only donkey mouth mother nigga talk like he got great full of grapes in his goddamn like he got toothpaste in his mouth and he trying to talk. Yeah, let me tell you talk, skip, skip. Hold on now, skip. Dumb mother somebody divorced, only to lose her to his friend. Oh shit. I'm dealing with a donkey mouth classic. Simp syndrome. No, I ain't gonna leave this nigga alone. He called, he tried to, he tried to disrespect my whole career over his love affair of a man. And then I find out this nigga got pillows and blankets of a nigga. And you know, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna feel comfortable as a man? This big old ass nigga take a shower and what if he, what are you getting in the bed with? Man, I, man, I wouldn't even feel comfortable sleeping in this bed with my clothes on let alone sleeping in this bed with my boxers on or, or with no clothes on. It, I wake up over my eyes, LeBron looking at me. I know, so I be fighting the fuck out that goddamn pillow. LeBron, what the fuck you doing in here, nigga? What the fuck? I be done cut this whole goddamn bed up, not knowing. I be done had my buck knife got to work, slicing this whole bed up, and, and it's just a goddamn pillow in a blanket. Shit. Nigga, I understand liking them. Damn, boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy, this is a good... Boy, y'all niggas be tripping out there. Really weird. And I ain't talking about all of L.A. There's some real L.A. And we ain't talking about y'all. We say Holly weird because we know it's some weird shit going down. <laughs> this nigga done went to one of them guys where them niggas walking out around naked and shit you know, slapping each other ass and saying we love LeBron. I'm bullying this man at this point. I ain't bullying this nigga at this point. This nigga said, I'm a, I, I ain't nothing. I'm ashamed because I gave a comment about basketball. This nigga sitting across from Skip Bayless, a nigga that said that I ain't make it to college because of my coach. A crybaby excuse making bitch. And the fact that he didn't play basketball himself. And he got the unmitigated gall to call me a seven foot farmer to disrespect me and tell me to go argue with two other black men to save his boot thing so he can lay and hold that pillow. When that white boy made you not even come to work for two days, Nick. When Shannon Sharp got his ass back down by, by got that, damn, that white boy Skip Bayless, that nigga couldn't go to work for two days. Eve, what's up? Love you, Kwame. Keep your foot on their necks. I'm damn sure live. You know, I think I is what think I ain't when I is. This one called disrespected the hell out of me over a basketball opinion, a basketball take. My point of view. Oh, you like that thick tongue? Oh, thick tongue, some bitch. Yeah, that nigga tongue too. It's a lot. I don't understand this shit. Him, Kidget Perkins, all them thick mule tongue, mule speaking mother. Niggas, all the niggas that can't talk, they all get a job. The niggas who violent, the niggas who dumb, the niggas who can barely talk, speech impediments, maybe they getting a check. Maybe the government giving them a check because we all know that if they got a, you know, a little lisp or something like that, you, you, they still need a job too. So maybe they got a program through the government that the NBA and the ESPN and all of them, they getting a kickback for getting that can't talk worth a damn. <laughs> He was at them naked, naked basketball games with Diddy and Fox. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can't say them niggas' names. I played JV as a senior. Water Pistol Pete. 
<laughs> yeah, man. Uh uh. Them niggas, them niggas weird, boy. Uh uh. This nigga said he wanted to put honey on the nigga. Shannon is missionary starting at his LeBron pillow. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He missionary staring at his LeBron pillow. Mm -mm -mm. Why so mad? I ain't mad. I'm having fun with this nigga. This nigga should have said my name. Not in that way. All he had to do is, is say, you know, I don't agree with you, Kwame, or this, this, and that. But now we see why this nigga love LeBron so much. This nigga sleep with LeBron every night. Look, his, this is his tweet. If this is his bed, this nigga laying with LeBron every night. Savannah ought to be hitting this nigga with his, her purse. I hope Savannah catch you at the next Laker game and beat your ass with her purse. I hope she got two brushes in that motherfucker. Savannah, fill your wallet up with money so it's heavy. Put some change in the bottom of your purse, some quarters. Put them in a sock, too. Put you, put you a bunch of quarters in there in a sock and goddamn put you some batteries in there, mother. And get you one of your big purses. He can't hit you, especially not in front of people. He'll let you whip his ass. And you tighten up your purse real tight so none of it don't fall out. And you beat this big gorilla to sleep for trying to lay with your man every night. The hell wrong with him. That's disrespectful as hell. Trying to take her man. The hell wrong with you, Shannon Shaw? I done told you already. God damn it. LeBron James got a wife already. Her name's Savannah. The brown boys. The brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys.